Hey, how's it going? My deadly mercenary family, Cosmic Richard here, bringing you a new video. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about Batman and what's going on with that movie. And also, apparently, there's new news that they have chosen the new Black Manta for the Aquaman 2018 movie. And before we talked about those things, uh, I just have to warn you guys, I really didn't prepare for this video. Uh, I just, you know, I just I had to do stuff around and uh, also I have to say that I didn't upload a gameplay because I'm pretty sure I'm not as good as other players in gameplay. Maybe I need more interaction, more practice, but let me just practice a little, then I'll put in some more. However, I'm going to be coming up with a new series, it's a series that I worked on before on my other YouTube channel. However, I feel like it's time to bring it back because uh, it actually involves something much more than just, you know, entertaining you guys. But anyways, besides that, let's begin. Okay, so, you know, again, this is not prepared, so for as for the Batman, um, news has been that Ben Affleck has decided to quit being the, in the director's chair to the, the Batman movie, and I, I'm fine with it. Um, I know some people that aren't. I uh, looked around and most of the people are fine with it. The people that actually think clearly. Uh, and there's just, just the fanboys, you know, there's the other side is the fanboys. And all I've got to say for the fanboys is that just take it easy. Uh, it appears that Ben is actually does actually know what he's doing. And he thinks he wants to portray Batman in a, such a way that is memorable and is not half-assed. Like I've mentioned before in the uh, in the in the past, uh, Ben is. I believe that Ben really really wants to focus on the Batman. It doesn't matter if he directs it or not, as long as he's a great Batman, which he is. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with it. However. As soon as this comes out, you know there is fake news and fake speculations and whatever that Ben Affleck's quitting being the Batman. And I don't think so. I don't think, at least if he's quitting, at least he's not going to be quitting for this, for the upcoming The Batman movie. If the way that Batman is feeling stressed out and wants to leave DC, then I believe what they should do is follow the Batman storyline where he dies and Dick Grayson takes over. And they should do that with the Batman. Or, you know, maybe Justice League Part 2 or something. I don't believe that he would like to quit, but, ever, but I am not Ben, so if maybe he wants to quit. And I think that's the storyline they should go forward to and have Dick Grayson take over as Batman. And that would perfectly fix that problem of Ben not being part of the DC Extended Universe. However, Ben, I feel like I could see that you are enthusiastic about being the Batman. And, you know, it's uh, perfectly fine. Another thing that just came out is that they chose the Black Manta. And Black Manta has been confirmed for the Aquaman movie. And I cannot wait. Um, so far, the casting for the Aquaman movie is really fantastic. And uh, I, I, can't, I can't wait. I mean, it looks fantastic to me. Let me just look up the uh, actor's name real fast. So apparently, our new Black Manta is Ayahya... Abdul Matin the uh, second I'm sorry if I butchered that name um, and I don't know anything that you came out in uh, again this is not prepared at all but uh, he looks like a black manta I guess he, heck he, he gets literally just put on the costume he doesn't really have to change anything from his face and he, you know, he looks like a black manta um, or a scar maybe you know maybe if they're going with you know whatever but I think I think this will be perfect fine um, that's one thing I do admire about D uh, DC is that they choose people that not a lot of people have known them uh, like personally I don't I didn't even know I didn't know the guy that's playing Chris I don't even know I, I do know Ezra Miller the guy that's playing Cyborg this guy I the only person I knew was Ben Henry Cavill uh, the guy playing Deathstroke even though I'm horrible with names so you guys have to know that right now and the uh, who else? And uh, Patrick, Patrick Stewart, I believe. Well, the guy playing um, Aquaman's brother in the upcoming movie. And you know, I, I, and I am really glad that they choose people that you know that are young that could be able to sustain many movies. Uh, that's one thing that I believe that uh, Marvel has been doing or a lack of is that they've been choosing older, more well-known actors. You know, I, you know, and so. You know, like Robert Downey Jr. barely looks the part of Tony Stark anymore because obviously age, you know, age happens, and I mean he he looks does not look like Tony Stark from a couple years ago. He completely 
looks older and you know well that's what happens when you age right so but you know, that's one thing i admire is that they choose fresh new looking people that actually want could probably do this for the next 15 years and uh i can't wait for whatever they're bringing forward uh, i can't wait to see who they choose for the batman uh, movie and you know we'll see we'll see how that goes hopefully jeff johns is still in the project and still writing and what do you guys think? What is this good? Is this good enough that Ben is just going to be the Batman? And let me know down below if you, you know if you think he's going to quit. I don't, but whatever. And what what do you think about the new uh, Black Manta? And um, what shows did he come out and comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please give it a like, here are two more videos so you can watch then hopefully you will subscribe to this channel. Also here are my social media, hopefully you follow me. Thanks for watching and as always stay vigilant, see you guys next time.